What is happening, everyone? Thank you for tuning in to another episode of k and Marty Radio Stuff. Guys, today we are going to talk about a very special connector. It's very near and dear to me. Something that I have just recently fallen in love with this year. It is the Messi and Poloni Evolution Connector. Now, before we get too far into this, I'm going to talk about the features and benefits, and then we're going to show how to install one of these. If you don't care about the features and benefits and you just want to skip to the good stuff, there will be chapters in the description below that will jump you right to the installation of this PL259. But for those of you that stayed, let's talk about this Messi and Poloni PL259 Evolution Connector. Now, it's important to note, Messi and Poloni does not make your dad's coax, okay? Messi and Poloni are fabricators of the absolute best, highest quality coaxial cable in the world. This is contest level, de-expedition level, DXCC all band with stacked Yaggies and 200 foot towers and the ground is flooded in salt water type level coax here, okay? When every single fraction of a dB matters, those stations are using Messi and Poloni. Now we're all familiar with the PL259 connector. It's the obligatory connector in the ham radio universe. And it's served us well, but it's time for a change. It's time for an evolution. Messi and Poloni has completely redesigned the PL259 connector as we know it. Now, this is designed specifically for Messi and Poloni coaxial cables, so it may not be compatible with your coaxial cable if you have RG8X or something. Uh, I haven't found one that is compatible with that. Messi and Poloni kind of breaks the rules and makes their own path uh, in order to be a leader in the coaxial cable industry. But if you're using LMR400 or RG213, something of the 0.4 inch variety, I do believe that uh, one of these will work. You just have to check the sizes and I'll show you where to, where to do that in a minute. So let's talk about these. So these are weatherproof. They use what's called Smart 3 alloy coating on here. So they use three different metals to make an alloy that prevents corrosion and rust. It's weatherproof from underneath. Now conventional wisdom is gonna tell us, well, if we have our connector plugged in, water's gonna go down and not up. So why would it be weatherproof from underneath? Well, that's a great question. I'm glad you asked that. Condensation can still build up. It's cold at night. It warms up in the morning. Air can get in here, humid air. And as it warms up, you now have condensation inside of your connector with a regular PL259, thus getting your shield wet, potentially. This has a rubber gasket on the outside, and there's also a compression gasket on the inside that's gonna prevent that. Now, you still do need to seal where the connector is going to actually screw into your antenna, but that extra bit of protection is good peace of mind. One of the greatest things about the Messi and Poloni connector, not just the Evolution connector, their regular PL259 connector, these can be reused. Now, while they are a little bit more expensive, the Evolution is gonna come in at about $7.30 uh, per piece, roughly. And some of you may be having a heart attack when you spend $2 on a PL259, but if you ever need to make a change, you have to cut this off and throw it out. If you need to change a Messi and Poloni connector, you simply unsolder this and reuse it. Buy once, cry once. Well, you won't even cry because once you use these, you're gonna be amazed at how awesome these are. As far as performance, these are almost as good as an end connector. They have designed this in such a way that these are rated for up to 5,000 megahertz with only 0.1 dB of loss versus 0.5 dB of insertion loss with a regular PL259. Put one on one end, one on another, that's a dB of loss right there just from the insertion loss of your coax connector. This prevents net. Now keep in mind, those are at higher frequencies. At the lower frequencies, you're not gonna really notice much. Another thing that Messi and Poloni has really thought of is your safety. You'll notice on this connector, there's grooves for a wrench. Now you might be asking, why do I need a wrench? Well, if you're up climbing a tower, say it's cold, you lose dexterity in your hands. They've put these wrench threads on here so you can use a wrench so you don't have to use your cold fingers that have very little dexterity 
to screw this into your antenna when you're 200 feet up on your tower. You can't do that with your dad's PL259, can you? And overall, these are just beefy, solid connectors. I mean, it's you hear the little stupid noise that we're all familiar with with the regular PL259. Hear that? That's solid metal. These are precision machined connectors. Absolutely incredible. And for those of you guys who are contesting, running full legal limit, and just balls to the wall with the power, they even make these heat suppressors that you can put on there. They were actually getting calls saying, is there a way that we can cool down our connectors because we're running so much power? And they came out with a solution. It's the heat suppressor. And that looks like this. Instead of using the regular screw terminal on the end of the connector, you simply replace it with this heat suppressor, put a fan on it. Now you have a heat sink on your connector to dissipate heat right at your radio. Doesn't get much more high quality than that, boys and girls. Now let's hop over to the Messi and Poloni website and I will show you how to find these connectors. First off, we're gonna go to messi.it. We're gonna click on this products link here. We're gonna click on 50 ohm connectors. And you can see these are all the different 50 ohm connectors that they carry. And in this case, we're gonna click on the UHF PL259 male. And here, depending on which type of coaxial cable you have from Messi and Poloni, they're gonna guide you to the proper connectors. So for example, I use Hyperflex 5 out in the field. They don't have an evolution connector, but they do have this, which is what is installed on this cable right here. All of the installation on these is gonna be very, very similar. The evolution connectors are just a touch different than this one. So today we're gonna be installing a connector on my Hyperflex 10 Sahara. So I'm gonna click on the Hyperflex 10. So this is for all 10 millimeter or 0.400 inch connectors. And here is the evolution connector right here. You can see there's 6.71 euro, which translates to uh, a little over $7, seven and a quarter, 7.30 uh, US at the time of recording. Now, enough of all the technical mumbo jumbo. Let's hop over on the bench and I'll show you how to install one of these wonderfully delicious evolution connectors from Messi and Poloni. Okay, so let's take a look at what makes up the Messi and Poloni Evolution Connector. Now on the outside, kind of just looks like a regular PL259, but we unscrew this base. We can see there's a gasket there, okay? Inside here, there's all kinds of little bits and parts. So we have an O-ring, we have a gasket, and we have another ring. This is actually gonna slide underneath the braid of the coax in between the dielectric and the braid. And there's also a little white spacer. And we need to push our center conductor out. Now, the only part that matters for the center conductor, you can see there's a little hole right here. So the center wire is gonna go inside this and it's gonna get soldered. Nothing goes in here, this is just all metal. It's fantastic, very, very easy. Now the first thing we want to do is put some of our parts on the coax. We're going to start with this end cap. We're going to slide that on. Then we're going to put this washer over, followed by our rubber gasket. Next, we're going to strip approximately 10 millimeters of the jacket off. I kind of like to just score it with these scissors. We'll come back with a razor blade, slice in there, and it comes off nice and clean like that. Next, we're going to spread apart the braided part of the shield. Pretty easy so far, right? The next step is to insert this, we'll call it a shield connector. You can see there's a groove in here. Sometimes you need to kind of widen that a little bit to allow it to slide over the copper braid. And then you can kind of pinch it and it just slides right underneath all of that shield. No soldering required. Now we can slide a rubber gasket and everything up, okay? And we can use our shears 
trim off the excess braid. Now we're gonna prepare our center conductor and we're just gonna cut all of this off and go right down to the center conductor. Okay. Then we're gonna take this little spacer guy, put that over our center conductor, then our pin. And I like to put this in a vise to hold it. And we're just gonna solder that center pin there. And we're gonna do it as quickly as possible so as to not melt the dielectric. So we're gonna apply a little bit of solder to our tip. Get a flow going there. And that's all she wrote. Very little solder. You just need to get enough in there to hold it in place. Now we can remove it from the vise. And we're simply gonna insert this whole assembly into the housing and screw. And depending on which size connector you have, it's gonna depend on different wrenches. So this bottom here is a 17 millimeter spanner. This is actually an 18 millimeter. I don't have an 18 millimeter wrench, so I'm just gonna use a pair of vice grips. And we're just gonna tighten this down a bit. Now we have a completely finished connector that is totally waterproof from underneath and totally, totally reusable by reversing all of these steps. And that's going to do it. Hopefully you now have a full understanding of these beautiful Messi and Poloni Evolution connectors as well as how to install them. If you're interested in picking up any Messi and Poloni products, hit the link for Gigaparts down below. That'll save you 5% off. If for some reason Gigaparts doesn't have what you're looking for or you're somewhere outside of the United States, you can order directly from Messi and Poloni. Use code K8MRD and you'll save 5% off. And shipping from Messi and Poloni directly is actually very, very fast, usually two to four uh, days shipping on that so very very quick guys thanks so much don't forget to like share and subscribe and we will see you again on another episode of k radio stuff 73 guys